Oh my God, one of the worst positions you can be um, as a human being is in a position of being blackmailed or when someone is trying to blackmail you. That is exactly what Shizuru Soya is going through right now. Um, they currently want to blackmail him, the DPO, right? Trying to use his past against him. And there is solid evidence and danger looms because if Basi confesses um, that he did not kill Shizuru Soya's wife, it means that Shizuru Soya might just be turned in and um, he will have to spend the rest of his life in prison. But I don't think he seems to be moved by all of that. Um, I think the DPO is just miserable and trying to look for someone to implicate. Now, um, what's going to happen with them? Alright, I think in this coming episode, most likely, I don't know if Juro Sonia fell with heart attack, but most likely, um, <laughs> God will show up again. Yes, God will show up again. And, and by the way, talking about Ogabasi, I think he's doing a great job in the prison. It is an exemplary act. He is actually an evangelist. So he's trying to make um, happiness out of sadness. He's trying to uh, make joy out of sorrow. He's trying to find um, beauty in his ashes. So as he's in the prison, he is rather doing the work of God by evangelizing to his fellow prisoners and trying to win them over to Christ. And that is really, really exemplary. It shows that anywhere and anytime and by anyone, Jesus can um, be made known to people. Yes, I don't know where all of this is coming from, but I just say it as it comes. All right, um, then daily, sorry, rainbow. You know, he's so stubborn. I don't know. Like, up to this point, it's annoying me that daily is so stubborn because his father has been telling him, his father told him not to like to leave the woman's house and he still kept arguing and now he has found out that the woman is evil and he now discovers that his father is right once again because i mean as always just like before when his father kept on insisting that he takes god seriously and you know yeah at that point in time he never listened and now his wife to be um died mysteriously and he's now facing the consequences uh well actually yes there are consequences because he no longer got married and he's now angry with himself trying to um, make everyone understand that he had no hand in um in your last death yes then um i don't know mother of fire <laughs> I didn't think she was going to be this man's wife. It came as a shock to me. And I don't know, it seems like... Because um, when Martins came to pray for her, something coincidentally happened. I feel like that was Satan that, you know, brought that event to coincide at that time to prevent the um deliverance of that woman because i know god has been using martins mightily in this avatar movie and so um he would have prayed for her and she would most likely have gotten her healing yes and you know that thing had to happen to like distract him and you know when they say your father is in the hospital with cardiac arrest it is difficult to you know be in the right frame of mind to still pray for another person so it's understandable that he had to leave so at that point there was nothing he could do um but along the line billy and his friends came around right they came around to 
um, pray for Mother of Fire, <laughs> who is um, Eva's mother, by chance. So, yeah, she happens to be Eva's mother and she happens to be sick as well. And yes, let me, let me say, passing through so what we call the consequences of her actions. But then there is still hope for anybody, you know, despite whatever they have done in their lives. So Eva um, had to bring these men, these, these guys over to um, the house to pray for her mother because, I mean, she's at a terminal stage, a, a fatal stage where she might likely lose her life because the grandmaster has already assured her that there will be calamity upon her family so i mean only the divine intervention of god can help her out of this so when daily led her to christ which is like a safe space um i don't know and it was the end of the movie they created suspense by i don't know she said she can see somebody Whoever that was, I do not know. But I think it was definitely going to be the Grandmaster that appeared at that point. But none of them could see the person she was seeing. And I think the Grandmaster appeared at that point to, like, fight for his own, in quote. So he did not want her to be saved. This reminds me of the battle that Shijuro Sonya fought when he was... Um, on the hospital bed the previous time with Bade, there was a lot of battle. Satan was literally trying to get him, the spirit of death and all of that. And I think this is similar. <laughs> Mother of Fire's husband had already gotten tired of um, the whole thing because everyone that came around seemed to live just like that without preferring any solution. Then I'll end with this. God is wonderful. God is real. God is amazing. And it was depicted where the, um, you know, officer in charge of the prison um, told Basi secretly that he likes the work that God is doing through him and that his daughter was healed. And uh, I think his second daughter got admission or something. So God literally answered his prayers. And so for that reason, he's literally supported everything that um, Basi was doing <laughs> and gave him a go ahead to continue doing whatever he was doing and that he has his full support. All right. On that note, um. I'd like to say in the next video i saw rambo <laughs> trying to look for another powerful um ritualist or witch doctor or whatever and i think his goal this time is to hunt martins and his father basically trying to complete the mission that um then to hunt martins and his father and then to hunt but they saw maybe uh, but well i think we'll see in the next in this episode that is dropping in few um let's say few minutes or few hours time so yeah don't just watch um pray that god will open your eyes to see a lot of mysteries that this movie is going to convey and pray that god will also speak to you through this movie um and yes try to leave every episode um, with a lesson yes try to get a lesson from every episode don't just be entertained be edified i appreciate the work that the mount zion team is doing and i pray that god keeps using them as well all right thank you very much like and subscribe my name is chimoke and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now